Hey everyone, um, <clears throat> sorry, it's like 12, you can actually see at the top, it's 12.47 right now, so I'm trying to stay somewhat quiet for the neighbors. Um, so, why does it always at, like, near midnight that I get tired, and start to doze off, and then immediately after, I get a, a notification or something about YouTube. <sighs> why, YouTube, why do you keep doing this to me? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but seriously. Um, this has made me really happy, so I'm happy about this. I literally just said that. I'm sorry, guys, it's late. I woke up, like, 30 minutes ago and saw this email. Well, like, two, not even five minutes ago I saw this email. But I woke up, like, 30 minutes ago to try and check out some stuff, and um, I'm really glad I saw this right before going back to bed. Um, so, yeah, so I made a video the other day about the verification guidelines and how the new change was really really bad and just wasn't right and i'm very glad they fixed it youtube i know you were trying your best and this proves that you have the best in mind for us there's still of course other things that need to be worked on but this right here shows that you are trying to improve although to be honest even the bigger creators uh spoke out on this so i'm not really sure if uh yeah, I'm not really sure if you have the best in mind for the creators, but I personally believe you do. Um, smaller channels, yes, get the harder parts of it, but um, it's not like you're trying, I hope you're not trying to put them into a difficult spot. It just kind of happens, and I'm well aware of that. But this makes me kind of happy that you're at least acknowledging things that are wrong. Um, but anyways, so it says, hi, a bit of anime, because that's my YouTube. Um, a question you subscribe to has recently received has received a new reply so i it's it's 12 49 right now you can tell i'm tired okay uh update what time what day is today it is september 21st okay good so um at 3 p.m p.m yesterday based on your feedback we've made some changes to this update which you can find in our blog post we've also copied the content of the blog post below thank you for doing that because i am not going to a blog post uh this late at night, <laughs> and um, I would most likely forget to do it tomorrow, so why, not, why do I have my animator glasses on? Get off me. I fell asleep with my animation glasses on, um, so I'm practicing that. Anyways, um, yesterday we announced the new changes to verification badge. The idea behind this update was to protect creators from impersonation and address user confusion. Every year we receive tens of thousands of complaints from creators about impersonation. And I'll tell you right now, I've seen many channels that have done had to happen. Uh, Sky does Minecraft. It's not really impersonation, but it's a, a fan channel and stuff like that. And it not only takes away from the, the views that the actual creator would get by literally re-uploading their stuff. But it also gives people the impression, oh yeah... I can find it much easier here because a lot of these kinds of channels will re-upload things every certain amount of months. So you, anything that's been uploaded once will be uploaded again in a few months later. Um, so the same content kind of cycles. So in case people miss it originally, they can be like, oh, well, I'll just go to this channel um, rather than having to go back years on um, the real channel stuff. Because, of course, the real channel will have much more to have to sift through and find the actual video you're looking for. Um, so, yeah. And not to mention, a lot of these impersonation channels do come up in your recommended if you do watch the actual channel. And that's kind of frustrating, of course. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Also, uh, someone mentioned on Twitter. I got into this little, uh, nice little talk with someone on Twitter um another animator and one of her friends had commented why does it matter it's not like they're losing views or anything so why are people so upset about a little check mark and i told them well you see it's not just a check mark the whole point of this is that people are actually not they might not be losing views but they aren't gaining as much as they would um because these other channels are getting the views that they normally would receive and then someone else brought up a point saying, hey, well, a lot of the time people put scams in the comments of those videos, literally making it so that it's like, hey, check out this free offer, 
if you want a uh, go to this link if you want like a free skateboard I don't know I'm too tired to think of stuff and I was like actually yeah that's true I haven't I don't click on them but of course a kid who's not really aware that it's a, it's a, it's fake would obviously click on it so you have to remember that um, there's also those and I had completely forgotten about that so the verification is even more important than I imagined originally and I already knew it was important um, but anyways the idea with uh, okay uh, every year we receive okay so that also a nearly a third of YouTube users so I gotta check how much time okay I've only got like 16 minutes to record so I gotta hurry um, I also had to get back to bed also nearly a third of YouTube users told us that they misunderstood the badges meaning associating it associating it with endorsement of content and not indicator or of identity which Changing the design, I still don't get what they mean by that, because they aren't solving that. The check mark doesn't solve what people misunderstand. It's yeah, I mean it makes sense that it's like yeah, this channel's all set, but that's not the right way to fix it. You were making it way more complicated than it had to have been. You could easily just um. I don't know, make a public statement about it or do something like that and it would be just as effective because all the people who are, the same amount of people who are confused about that kind of, uh, the meaning of that check mark would most likely, the same amount of people would see that, uh, that uploaded post or whatever. Just remember that major changes are never necessary. If it isn't broken, don't fix it. Yes, you can tweak it, but that was not a tweak. That was a major change and that's something that I didn't understand. I get what they were trying to say, but I don't see how it fixes the problem. Anyways, and I'm glad they didn't do it now. Actually, no, I don't even know if they, they're doing that. Did they even change that back? I don't think it says that they're doing that. Um, no, they're still doing that. <sighs> okay, well, I'll, I'll look at that later. Um, nearly, okay, the missionary, okay. And not an indicator of identity, of, of identity. I'm so tired. While rolling out improvements to this program, we completely missed the mark. <laughs> Check mark, get it? <laughs> uh, we're sorry for the frustration that we caused, and we have a few updates to share. First, we heard loud and clear how much the badge means to you. Channels that already have the verification badge will now keep it and don't have to appeal. We will continue reviewing those channels to ensure we're protecting creators from impersonation. That is a good thing. Thank you, YouTube. Um... Just like in the past, all channels that have over a thousand, sorry, a hundred thousand subscribers will still be eligible to apply. We'll reopen the application process by the end of October. That's like a whole, that's a month or more away technically, depending on how late in October it is. But okay. Um, going forward, we'll review those channels to verify their identity. If we determine that a channel is attempting to impersonate, so impersonate. We won't verify that channel and may take additional action. We've improved the process and we'll verify channels that are authentic. I'm just going to keep going. That's pretty simple what this means. If you want to read it, go ahead. And complete. Be active on YouTube. What does that mean? I don't understand what that means. Is it active as in currently uploading videos in a certain basis like on a certain timeline oh I don't like how they phrase that if it says that it has to have content then that could be what they're referring to as active but it's a separate point so I'm worried that that means oh well you have to be upload a video every certain amount of days in order for it to be eligible that's what I'm worried about, because once again, animators can't do that, and that's why I was kind of worried about this whole thing, because I have many animator friends who are going to struggle from that. Um, yeah, so they're still keeping the new badge type. I don't like that. I mean... I guess it makes sense. I can I can deal with the changes that they're making at this point. It's just that badge, the new uh, the background, the, the dark uh, or the the 
the gray background behind the channel name, it doesn't make sense to me. But it also isn't as negative. The only issue is that it doesn't stand out as much. Because in order to, for you to realize it, you'd have to compare it to a channel that doesn't have it. So a lot of channels will have that background to it, and a lot of channels won't. So I'm worried that a lot of people won't be able to tell if a channel is verified or not, because a lot of channels won't realize, or a lot of viewers won't realize that, hey, this channel has a background to it, this one doesn't. You know what I mean? It's just too subtle. A check mark was much more, was much more um, it stands out. But a darker background behind the channel name, it, it, you'd have to literally see two channel names next to each other to identify that there's a difference if you didn't already know about this update. So that's what I'm worried about. Um, plus, the check mark is, is iconic. It's on Twitter, it's on YouTube, or it was on YouTube. That's like the verification symbol. I don't know. It's just dumb, in my opinion. But I'm not going to judge until it goes through. Um, the, the new rules for the, or the, the, the rules that they announced for the new, um, the new guidelines or whatever for being verified, that was a problem, but I can deal with a new look. I'll, I, I can handle it until it goes wrong and I will make a video discussing why it's bad if it does end up being bad, but I'm not going to judge it before it happens, so. Anyways, everyone, that's all I got right now. I'm too tired for anything else, so. Um, thank you, YouTube. I am very happy that you you realized that this was not the right choice. Um, and I, I will tell you guys right now, the new badge rolling out next year. Oof. I don't think they should wait that long to do it. And there's a reason why, because the longer they wait from the update the less people will actually realize that there's a change. And, um, yeah, it's going to be frustrating for a lot of people. Um, because you got to remember that this update, a lot of people who aren't YouTubers, who have just heard of it or um, just, like, read small clips from it, a lot of the viewers might barely look into this kind of stuff. The YouTubers themselves, the actual content creators, will look into it. But the viewers really won't. And the viewers are the people you're trying to make sure are aware of the verification. So here we have the problem where if you wait too long, then the viewers will have no clue that there's any difference because they'll just completely forget about it. The longer you wait, the more likely people are to forget that there was a change. So when you change it on YouTube itself, it just... It doesn't make sense in my opinion because at that point it'll make it harder for people to realize hey, this channel is verified. I believe you really should rule it out immediately, but I guess it's a bit late for that, isn't it? You've already announced that you're doing it next year. Hopefully it works, but from what I can tell, it might be a bit more difficult if you wait too long. So hopefully in like January or like early, early February, it gets put out there because I don't, I, as much as I don't like the change, I'd, I, it'd be better for the community if the change gets done sooner than later so that people are still able to remember this and apply it to the knowledge of what it looks like now. And I hope they make another post on like a public forum or something, I don't know, somewhere where people who aren't YouTubers but the viewers will see it. So, I don't know. Let's hope it gets out there. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. Once again, thank you Team YouTube and YouTube itself. This was a very good thing to uh, check before going to sleep. But, um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get some sleep again. <laughs> um, that's all, everyone. Bye. God, my voice is cracking because I'm so tired. Uh, kill me. <laughs> Don't kill me. I just need some sleep. I'll be fine. Don't kill me. I need to stay alive. Anyways, bye, everyone.